Well, folks, I think this one falls into the easy category of job on the bike. Slight problem, we shall detail later, but uh, here's a photo, obviously, of the mudguard that we all know and love so much. In fact, we love it so much that most people take it off and throw it away or try to sell it on eBay forever. Now, these are the mudguards I received today, uh, apparently used from Nightingale's. I think it's a bike dealer place. Uh, sold on eBay as used, and I think they've done that just to cover for any scratches or whatever. There aren't any. They're, they're, that's how they've turned up, sealed everything in them. And as you can see, they've got the Hitchcock's bag on them. I'm fitting just the first... This video is about fitting the front one because I haven't got time to do the other one yet. It's a bit more involved and I need the bike for tomorrow morning to go to work. Well, I don't need it. I want it. I don't want to drive in a car, pickup truck. I want to go on my bike. So there it is. Four uh, stainless, in my case, Allen bolts. And there it is. The OEM mudguard brace and mud flap in all its glory. Truly collectible by the dustbin man. So it comes off easily as we know. And here is a shot of a top view. Now this is underneath and it's got this little cagey looking braced thing. Like a springy steel thing underneath. <coughs> now you've got to make sure the orientation, you've got to, when you put your, your new mudguard on, it's easy to get that brace, that brace thing in the wrong position, have it too far forward. So in that photo, you can see the back, the mud flap end, um, you've got your two screws at the front there with no cage on them. And that's it off. You'll notice there's three bolts on the right hand side, six mil with a sort of wider shank on them to go through the mudguard. And you'll notice at the top right there, there's a little bolt sitting there looking very awkward. That's because it was. They're stainless bolts, those, but the button-headed Allen bolts. And when you put, a, I put a, an Allen key in it, and it twisted round and round in the socket. So in the end, I had to use the Irwin wrench there, which is damn good, actually. I bought that to remove the... Uh, manifold studs on um, my XJR 1300 and that thing really shifted them and it's a good wrench is that so that I managed to grab the side of that dome headed nut bolt I mean you know pain in the neck I don't know why they fit them like that but anyway finally got the thing undone so you can see it there you've got your cage on the right brace on the left and then the original mudguard there it's got the allen bolts stainless holding the mud flappy bit on so i'm going to take those off and reuse them obviously and this next shot shows the stainless bolt that's stuck in there look at it it's, it looks rusty it's not um you know it's serrated on the edge from the wrench the socket in the middle just you know just straight away it just rounded there's always one, isn't there? It's that bond between steel and aluminium. Now here's the, um, this shot shows a picture of the instructions. So as you can see, it's essential that that springy thing underneath be positioned further back down towards the rear of the mudguard, leaving the two front screws um, without any of that guard on. And that's what you use the plastic cups for, to, help to grip the mudguard. It's easy to get that cage bit in the wrong position, I found. So there it is, as it should be. I actually put it on the first time and had it too far f um, forward. So, you know, it all didn't seem to w work at all. So there it is. That's how it should look. And I've replaced the two, two of the um, Allen bolts at the back with stainless hex flange nuts. I don't like using chewed up. There it is again chewed up ones and that other one was chewed up so i may as well replace them both so it's got flange nuts on they're no higher than the original domed nuts that i've removed and then it's just a simple matter of putting it back on the bike it couldn't be simpler really so there it is the only thing is i think it makes the fork brace look a bit weird i don't know what you think i'm sure that uh, people looking at this might proffer an opinion 
I think it looks a bit weird. It's under false light here. It's security lighting because it's night time. And I'm just doing this having finished at work. So you can see it there. Now, the, the mud, mud guard is higher. So without that mud flappy bit, the front wheel is going to throw crud onto the cylinder, onto the um, oil filter and the front crankcases and things. I don't know whether it's worth drilling it to put a mud flap on. I'd welcome some comments on that, actually. Would you drill a stainless steel brand spanking new mud guard like that to put a mud flap on it? I'd be very interested to know whether people would do that. There it is from the front, at side, or the, you know, front of the bike, obviously, um, with the uh, reminder wire from Mr. T, stopping me from driving off and knackering everything at the front. And as you can see, it looks good. I think it looks far better than the original plastic one. But I just don't know about that fork brace. It does look kind of odd. Don't you think? Tell me what you think, honestly, and what you've done about it. I know some people have polished them, painted them black, all sorts. But there we go. And I think it's far better this colour than spraying the original one orange. I do. Mr T showed me today the uh, BSA um, Gold Star. And, you know, the modern one has a painted front mudguard. The original Gold Star has the chrome mudguard. And it does look better, more classic with a chrome mudguard. It was quite apparent on the pictures in the bike mag you showed me. So there it is. That's it. Done. Let me know what you think. In the meantime, take care, ride safe, and I'll be posting about the rear one soon. See you soon.